22. Patrick said he's a more balanced player. Maybe he's a more restrained player, more considered player in his older age uh, now, John. Uh, where do you see him going from here? Because he is, the, you know, as voted by the people, mm. the best player on the continent this year. So where, where can he go from here? He shows no signs of stopping at the moment. As I say, people are writing him off. They, they keep saying he's not the player he was. But I think it's difficult for Yaya because people expect so much from him. They, they, they expect him to be a fantastic defensive midfielder as well as scoring 20 goals a season. So I, I think his performances are still right up there and he had a good rest in the summer and I think we'll see the best of Yaya Torre towards the end of the season. I have to say though, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang was very unlucky to miss out. He's had a, a brilliant 2015, so I think Yaya Torre probably just pipped him to this award. Yeah, no, an interesting one. Well, as we said, it is the people that voted. <laughs> yeah. It might have been a critic's choice that might have given it to Pierre-Emerick, but it is indeed Yaya Torre who is our 2015 African Footballer of the Year. Uh, we've heard about the player. So what about the nation? Well, we have Tamazin Ford standing by in Abidja. Uh, and Tamazin, some reaction that we've heard from the player, but you've, got, you've spoken to some excited people who are around the man himself, haven't you? Yes, exactly. And while Yaya Toure may be a legend in Africa, the word legend here in Ivory Coast takes on a completely different form. He's literally everywhere, from life-size paintings on the back of buses to giant-size billboards welcoming you to cities. Uh, and I spoke to his dad, More Toure, who couldn't be more proud of his son. He did ask me when Kolo was going to start winning awards, but he had this message for Yaya. Je te remercie et toutes mes bénédictions. I thank you. I give you all my blessings. You have brought honor to the Tory family. Tu as fait honor. You have brought honor to the Tawana region. You have brought honor to Ivory Coast. You have brought honor to Africa. Tu as fait honor à l'Afrique. Je suis fier de toi et je te remercie. I'm proud of you and I thank you. All this happiness makes us live. Today, if I am envied by people, it's because you and your brother Kolo have existed. I was in the shadows. No one knew me. But thanks to you, the whole world knows me. Thanks to you, many people know me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Every time he brings home a prize, when the results come in, if he wins, he calls me. He says, Papa, I won the prize, and I'm telling you this victory because it's because of you that I am where I am today. He calls me to tell me that. And after visiting the Toure family, I also went to the football academy where both Kolo and Yaya were spotted. That's Asek Mimosa. Uh, the players there, the young players there, walking the grounds that some other greats have also walked to, Jovino, just to name a few. And I asked them uh, who their idol was. A few said Lionel Messi, but nearly all of them said Yaya Toure. And that really shows you the impact that Yaya's had on the next generation of footballers in Ivory Coast. He really is someone that people looks up to here, whether you play football or not. He's someone that the whole nation is proud of. He captained Ivory Coast to win the Africa Cup of Nations, something uh, the country was longing for for years. So this will really mean a lot to uh, the fans of Yaya Toure here. I'm sure Lionel Messi would have got all the votes had he been African, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, uh, wrong category. Um, but he has been an absolutely deserving award winner. We've got a little bit of time, so let's talk about the man who was runner-up, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Aubameyang. He's got quite a few syllables in his name, <laughs> I, I should know. Um, but uh, but he, he did exceptionally well this year. I mean, to score so many goals and to be the outstanding player in such a competitive league as the Bundesliga, John. Yeah, particularly in the second half of 2015. I mean, he's, he's at the top of the scoring charts. He's above Robert Lewandowski, above Jamie Vardy, who's been sensational in the Premier League, above Thomas Muller. He has had a, a fantastic year, but I don't think it's going to stop, Patrick. I think Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang will keep scoring and perhaps maybe his dream will come true and he'll move to a big club in Spain. So I think it won't be the last time that he's nominated. My guess is during his career, he will win this award at one stage. All right. Well, he, he's got a lot to live up to. An incredible 2015. Uh, do you think he just missed out? Do you think he was unlucky to miss out to Yaya Torre? The way his team started last season wasn't a great way for him to start the season. I think uh, if he had started the season how he ended the season, he would have been winning the trophy. So 
I'm looking forward. I'm very curious to, for um, what's going to happen next year because he's a player that uh, has all the attributes to be uh, uh, to be a winner uh, one day. Well, I mean, a lot of the talk was about how he could fill the boots of Robert Lewandowski. He's a man who has gone on to even bigger things with Bayern. Do you think that the world, the world of Europe, if you like, will be looking at um, someone like Pierre Emerick and thinking that he could oh, be the guy to spearhead out? Uh, I mean, as as today, he's one of the top strikers in uh, in all over Europe. So there's no. There's no, uh, there's nothing says he won't end up in a, in a even a bigger club in Europe tomorrow or not. Yeah. So, I'm I'm very curious. I'm looking forward to to see how he ends up this season because I think he's a player that has all the attributes to play at the even higher level. Absolutely. Uh, well, gentlemen, absolute pleasure to have both of you. It is, of course, Yaya Torre who is our man. So we will leave you with some very special celebrations and messages from the ASEC Academy in Abidjan. From myself, from Peter, from these guys. Goodbye.